Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a quick cook with me video for you because I'm going to be attempting to make my grandmother's fudge pie recipe. Um, this was a pie that I grew up eating. In fact, I think it was pretty much the only pie I ate. I'm not a huge pie person, but I could never say no to her fudge pie. Um, she's been gone about 10, maybe 11 years now. Gosh, has it been longer? I think it's 11. Um, so, you know, several of my aunts had this recipe. I actually had to um, text my Aunt Gail for this recipe, um, and she had it. And it's definitely one of those older recipes that has the ingredients, but very few instructions. So I've done a little bit of research online um, to try and help me with like the techniques. And it's nothing too fancy, but I'm really not a baker. And so I just felt like I needed some guidance, but I thought it might be fun to film just because it's either gonna be a huge success or a big fat fail. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got my little um, cheat sheet here. There's really not many ingredients. Um, I've got one and a half cups of sugar right here, which is pretty standard for a fudge pie. I don't know if this is a secret recipe in our family. I found other recipes very similar online, but so if I'm vague, it's because I've been told that it's a secret recipe and I'm not allowed to give it away. <laughs> um, but anyway, I've got one and a half cups of sugar in here and then I need to, I think you just dump everything in your bowl. So I've got some butter that I've let soften to room temperature. And then I need to get two eggs. Okay, I've got my two eggs. I'm gonna get something to put these in. Get a trash bowl going here. I'm not gonna be attempting to make my own crust. I have high crust from Aldi, of course. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with that. Okay, I get a little overwhelmed when I'm baking because it's just not my comfort zone and I feel like oops, we're going crooked. I feel like there's a lot of science involved that I'm just not really, I don't understand. Um, three tablespoons of sweetened cocoa powder. So I lent this recipe out to a coworker recently um, for their 4th of July party and it didn't come out quite right. Like it looked beautiful on the top, there was no cracks, um, but it was like liquid in the middle. So I mean to me that sounds like it just wasn't left in the oven long enough. But again, I'm not an expert baker, I'm not sure. It sounded to me like it just didn't set. So that's kind of why I'm taking on this challenge right now too because I want to prove that it can turn out well um, because again I ate it my whole childhood and I know it's delicious um, got some vanilla here and then it says half a cup evaporated milk 12 ounces in here do you shake? Yeah, shake well. And I think this is one of those where you could just do the little like triangles on either end, but I've never done that. Nick, do you know how to um, just like pop the, oh, oh wait, I figured it out. Yeah, like a can. Yeah, do I just want to do one on each side? Look. You can just do one. No, but I think you're supposed to do two. Doesn't two like help it flow better? Maybe. Yeah. I think that's a thing. Okay. Half a cup. Oh. Yeah, come on. What is that? Evaporated milk. Oh. Evaporated milk makes me think it's gonna be in the air. Powdery. <laughs> well, not in the air, but like. Okay. 
Uh, baking is hard. Okay, I think that's all of the ingredients. And then one unbaked pie crust. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside because it says not to over mix. I think this angle's not gonna be very good. Um, super out of my own right now. <laughs> Thanks for your encouragement. Aldi pie crust. You can get two in a package. Bakes in just 10 to 12 minutes. Do I need to bring crust to room temperature? Boo! Or, ooh, or microwave on defrost for 10 to 20 seconds per sleeve. I don't know. Mm. I also don't know how to work the defrost, but it's cool. We, we can do this. What if I just did 20 seconds? Let's just do that. All that's the crop, the crust. Yeah. And I think this one we can just freeze. I think you're going to be in this video since you're <laughs> helping me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. So, oh wait, I need the directions on what to do next. Unroll crust, ungreased pan. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, very nice. Well, I got a hole in it, but I feel like that would have happened no matter what I did. Probably patch it up. I don't know. This is not gonna be a pretty pie. <laughs> wow, how do I bake? <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been a long day. FYI, I am doing this the evening of Ivan's first birthday, which was amazing. But I think I just have a lot of feelings that I haven't like processed yet. So many um, all day. So I thought, oh, I'll film that video and it'll kind of, you know, Take like, breath. yeah, give me something else to focus on. But mostly I just think I'm screwing up this pie right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this, this, uh, I think I'm just gonna do like, not a fancy crust. We're just gonna try and make it look smooth. Now is not the time to uh, try new, yeah, don't, don't get too ambitious. Just, just get the pie cooked. Put it in the pan. Do you have to put coals in it? Ice cream or pudding pie. Pumpkin filled pie. Okay. So I don't think I poke any holes in this according to the crust. Okay, we can put that in the freezer. All right. That is my uh, store bought crust. We've got a little thin spot here. Double check that I have all of my ingredients in this bowl and then I'm going to whisk it until it just combined. Maybe should have put the butter in the bowl. 
Well, the whisk is not gonna work. <laughs> the recipe said this. What that thing? No, that's a sauce, sauce whisk or something. I think I'm gonna have to. Okay, here we go. Getting some traction now. So if I remember correctly, which I think I do, this is a very rich pie. I think you can only eat like a tiny slice. Um, and I don't even think we usually put ice cream or anything on top of it, but it would probably be really good with ice cream or like homemade, probably homemade whipped cream would be pretty delish. up here this looks like it could make a good fudge pie I don't know I feel like it's like I don't know missing something but I'm following the recipe I believe in this recipe we can do it so we pour it into the pie press Oven set at 400 and you do it at 400 for 10 minutes and then reduce the heat to 350 and do it for another 30 minutes or until the center puffs up a bit I guess that's how you know it's set so yeah maybe that's what my co-worker did wrong we'll see I'm gonna put this puppy in the oven and I'll see you in about 45 ish minutes Well, this is the finished product. It looks really nice. I did an extra five minutes in the oven and then I stuck a toothpick in here and it came out like ooh, that. So it's not too sludgy at least and I just figured that's good enough. I'm actually gonna let this um, set overnight and then maybe we'll try a piece in the morning before um, our family comes over to eat it um, just to make sure that it tastes okay. So I'm going to check in with you in the morning and we'll kind of know if this was a success or not. Yeah, I think we, I think we got it right. It maybe could have stayed in a little bit longer I feel like there's a a done layer here and then it's like not as done down here but maybe it's supposed to be like that but it tastes like I don't know if it's as rich as hers was but I think we got it right do you want to try it oh yeah <laughs> that's awesome <clears throat> breakfast of champions <laughs> So it looks like we were pretty successful with the pie. Again, it wasn't a pretty pie. It definitely had the cracks in it that my grandmother was complaining about. Um, so I don't know, again, I'm not a baker. I don't know much about preventing cracks in pies, but for a first attempt, I feel pretty accomplished, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this cook with me video. Um, I will link a similar recipe in the description box so that you can try and make a Southern fudge pie as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you next time, bye. Mm -hmm.